All right, I'm here with the most hype, most funnest, best dancing, one of the best looking couples I know. We got Coach Jessica and the newest Coach Thunder. So today I want to bring you guys onto my channel because I want to provide some inspiration for other couples that are looking to get fit and maybe how they can increase the longevity of their relationship and also how do they take care of themselves separately on their own personal journeys. What the other person needs and then go from there. One important thing is to inspire each other to what we do separately and together, especially when we work out here on the blue. We take time by taking on the blue, we say, okay, let's go date night, first of all. That's one of the ways we, we do our dates. Second, if we want our alone time, we'll do like a sauna session, which involves talking about more things, so more evolving, more growing, and more personal goals outside of the gym. <laughs> Most importantly is the uh, connection of personal growth separately and together because it will enhance more the relationship and how you guys compromise and have a solution to anything. And that's the greatest part. When it comes to eating, a lot of couples tend to eat different foods, meaning you always hear from the wife always cooking for herself and then cooking for the family. How does that work in your household? So, um, <laughs> it mainly st we'll start with me because um, I'm the, sh the cook, I'm also a chef, but I also listen to what his needs are um, and then I incorporate it in my daily and I just make sure that we're meeting the criteria for what we set out. So if his macros are 50% protein and then the rest is carbs, then I make it work with myself, but I put the things that I enjoy as well. Well, for me, it's like, basically it's like all basic food. But when I met Jessica, she tried to uh, open up my mind to like incorporate some like different sauces or spices that make it like enjoyable. That's why her meal prep really enhances more my energy here on the blue and even outside at work. So mm -hmm. I thank her for that. Yeah. <laughs> and a little plug because, you know, my family, we don't have kids, but yeah. our family is the fit fam. So I'm able to listen to all the needs and then that way it works for everybody. We love dancing. That's number one. We take mm -hmm. salsa classes or bachata classes um, and it helps us connect more in a way with like body language and we know that we're having fun at the same time. And there's also, um, what, do we, what else do we do? Um, I think um, at, attending uh, different kinds of party, which we get steps oh, yeah. there. You yeah. Know? <laughs> we, don't, we don't really drink, but <laughs> we enjoy it in a way that we get steps. We get our cardio, light cardio, right? So yeah, yeah we, we socialize great. a lot. So that way we're not just always at home and um, just talking to each other. And we like, we love to, feel out people's insights on other things as well. So it's not just like fitness. It's like life goals and then it inspires us and then hopefully inspires others as well. I think one of the keys for you, Jessica, to your happiness is reflection and, and being grateful. How does that relate to your happiness and is that the key to always being so cheerful? It is, it is my top, my top two. Um, being grateful came into play when I didn't have much. So when I turned to the three things I was grateful for every day, it turned into what made me happy every day. So it was always, <laughs> but I look back and I have a journal. So mostly it was Coach RJ <laughs> and, and then the blue, like uh, just working out and then my fit fam. And then it turned into more because I couldn't repeat it but it always had to involve something with what I do. So it wasn't just about, um, okay, this is what I'm thankful for. It's because I have the ability to do it. And then I turn back and I see how far I've come. And then it's always individuals from FitFam as well. And then it became Thunder because he, he enhanced most of the things that I was capable of doing. So thank you. <laughs> So what, what advice would you tell to somebody that's looking to maybe get a small boost and just feeling good? The small boost is always 
um, checking with what you have already, not thinking that you have something that others want because what you have is already there. And then when you recognize what you have, then you'll be grateful for it, you'll be happy, and you won't go searching for more because it'll just come to you. Thunder, you're like a ball of energy, right? <laughs> so it's like that ball is tight, it's quiet. But as soon as that ball gets moving, it's just like a thunderstorm. <laughs> so for anybody out there that's kind of shy, maybe even intimidated, but has that inner beast, what would you recommend or what, what advice would you give to that person that's sitting there and they have this energy yeah. <laughs> and they know it's inside of them? How can they take that and release that into the world? You see, this advice, I always tell it to myself. Never hold back. When you have that half an hour, you deserve that. You give that energy more than what you feel inside because it will come out there on the blue. So there we have it. You saw the entire interview. Both of them were smiling, okay? The key to happiness, it just starts with smiling to me. That's what the energy came off. And once you start to glow, the rest of the world is gonna glow with you. So I wanna thank you, Thunder, for bringing the energy. Rabbit, <laughs> for bringing the cheerfulness. And we'll see you on, on the blue! blue. I'm always proud of you. You always remind me that I can be Coach Rabbit and your Coach Thunder. <laughs>